Hey everyone, I'm Mike Lowe and we are here with NBA 2K23 and one of the most common questions that I get asked and that I see on social media is dealing with the draft class generation in the game. Uh, we all know it has not been perfect in years past. We're going to get right into it and just take a look at what some of these game generated draft classes look like. The ones that you would just load uh, on your own that are just created by the game into your my MBA. So of course you can do MBA or WMBA. We're going to click on new draft class, which will just generate a bunch of fake players. And here you can just kind of see everything about them, right? The overall, uh, what they look like, what school they went to, their, their size and so on, right? One of the first things I'm looking at year to year when I start to just kind of see how it matches up is the total number of badges. And what's happened, at least in what I've seen in the past, is that like the the real life rookies for the year, right? Uh, the Jaden Ivies, the Chet Holmgrens and so on uh, for 2022, they will have a, a ton of badges. Like I remember um, yeah, just in years past, like yeah, some of the rookies would have like, you know, in the teens, even like high teens number of badges and then the draft classes would not line up. So we're seeing low numbers with the draft classes, but the good news is just looking at the top five picks in the 2022 draft on the default roster. Again, this is a couple days before the game releases. They're lining up pretty nicely. When I counted the top five players in the real life draft, there were a total of six badges and three of those were with one player. Right, So between the other picks, picks two through five, they shared three badges total. So when we look here, the best player in this draft has three, just like we would have seen in the real life draft this year. And then it starts to kind of dwindle down and uh, it doesn't look like we're going to see anything too crazy. We have a couple that are, uh, you know, guys with five and so on. So that's the, the best good news. Uh, Dwayne Fisher with six there. So we have nothing crazy, um, but also it, it does kind of seem like it's lining up really well with real life. Um, where we're kind of seeing some issues still is maybe just in kind of the, and, and this is a really common uh, thing that I that I read about on whether it's Operation Sports or Twitter or, or wherever, um, is just like the player generation not doing a great job of kind of having players uh, like hairstyle match up with kind of the, the look or maybe it doesn't match the name. And, and however you want to kind of dissect that is it doesn't seem to do as good of a job as say even like Madden Football, which does a pretty good job of kind of um, uh, kind of blending things in and, and making it look uh, pretty decent. Um, I'm even seeing this happen with the uh, draft classes in the eras uh, the my NBA era, right? So you'll have a, the 1984 draft class. And of course there's Jordan and Elijah one and so on, but there are some fictional players that get in the mix there, but they'll have like a faux hawk um, for a haircut and things like this. So like there, there is some kind of room for growth uh, or maybe some, some areas that could be cleaned up by the NBA 2K team uh, in the draft uh, generation. Um, you know, just kind of clicking through this and I have not seen this class yet. Um, there's some good things too. Like, uh, I mean, this, this guy looks cool. Like he's got, I mean, this, this matches up. Like I like his hair and everything. Uh, Dwayne Fisher looks good. The goatee looks like there's nothing here that looks completely offsetting or just doesn't match up. Right. Off putting, um, a lot of goatees, you know, so it's, it's potentially better, but I don't know. Cause like I've done a bunch of these, um, and, and I was still seeing kind of the weird, like, haircut from like the 50s on a guy with like medium complexion and like it was just like what 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 is this um this one's actually looking pretty good just kind of flipping through it and i have not been looking at the names um so i always like to see here like is this like a greek player case from george washington university uh sometimes when you see like kind of those um real unique names and whatnot i like to kind of see if they're like one of the international players um, so again, we just kind of scrolled through the, the first and, and you all can be the judge. Um, Lou Wang from USC. He looks sweet though. Um, yeah, so I mean, this this class actually looks better. It's funny, the ones I did before this uh, recording the video weren't quite looking as good. So again, Richmond, um, which happens, the players come overseas and, and they'll go to college and so on here. Um, so there's like, like a full hawk sometimes you'd see in like... <laughs> like the 1984 draft or something. It just wouldn't always match up for some of the fictional players. Uh, but let's load up a different one because that one's actually looking pretty decent. So we'll do a, uh, another NBA draft class. So Ian Lyons, three badges here at the top. Uh, Seton Hall. 
Cesar Ramirez. So again, we have a, a names matching up, right? A, a Latino name, uh, kind of first and last name there. Holy cow, that guy's hair is sweet. It's got gray hair. Edmund Edmund Welling, Wennington. That is a sweet name. He he's got some health issues. Canadian. Marion Daniel. So these these are looking good. You know, and it, here's what's interesting. I what is one of the first things I did when I got the game tonight was I went and I immediately looked looked at this and um, it, it was looking very very similar to years past. And there was an update. There was an update probably about 40 minutes ago or so that came through. We had I had to go back to the main menu and and I wonder if that pushed some things out because it pushed out like the first episode of uh, NBA TV, uh, uh, 2K TV I should say, and so. It, um, I, I wonder if there was something in here that maybe they had been working on that kind of cleaned this up because these aren't looking bad at all. Um, again, for for a, a, a generated draft class, I mean they're not perfect, um, but the the beauty of these draft classes is that they're they are pretty small, obviously, uh, just being two rounds, and so you could go in and uh, Boris Cooper there from Germany. Um, you can go in and, and easily just adjust these on your own if you need to. So um, these aren't looking terrible at all. Like I actually notice an improvement this year, um, but correct me if I'm wrong. If, if you're seeing things there, um, I like kind of the hyphenated names, um, but I, I don't know if those are only uh, hyphenated because they already exist in the game. Like I know NHL, um, the NHL game from EA Sports will kind of do that. Uh, if there's a hyphenated name that's already in there, it'll generate more players with that exact hyphenated name. And uh, games today need to be doing that just organically, right? Like we have uh, mods, like the NCAA revamp team, they have mods that allow us to put, you know, prefixes, or I should say, uh, uh, suffixes on names. So like, you know, uh, Lawrence Barry the third or Lawrence Barry, Lawrence uh, Barry Jr. and so on. That should be happening in, in these too, so um, that'd be cool to see that. Uh, so again, just going through, looking. These are not terrible. Willard Malone is a sweet name. Norm Carr is a stash player from Italy. So again, like Norm Carr. Is there a guy named Norm Carr in Italy? Probably somewhere. Um, I, I don't know. I, it, it's up to you, I guess, how much that kind of... Uh, takes you out of the kind of the immersion uh, with, with that sort of thing. And again, very easy to edit. Um, here's a guy from Puerto Rico that looks like he would be from like Croatia uh, with a name like that or uh, Russia or something like that, uh, Ukraine. So again, not perfect, but I, I, I do honestly feel like they're a lot better. Let's do one more. Um, so Alan Nance, uh, Let's see, Spencer Flores, Virginia Tech. I just like seeing where kind of the top guys are coming from. Xavier, uh, Lithuania, Ross Dunleavy, maybe. So again, just not exactly Gilberto Bianco. Uh, so there's there's a good uh, what seems to be you know would match up with an uh, Italian uh, name there. Um, who's got some health issues for sure. Craig Pierce. So I don't know. Like I said, I'd be curious to see what, what you all think. Um, Kasparov here at Kentucky. Again, uh, could have been just a guy who came over, went to school, that kind of thing. Um, you guys will have to be the judge. I mean, they're, they're probably never going to look perfect because I think we're all kind of in our heads like it should look like the real life draft class, which is not. It's not the real life draft class. It is going to be different. And you could go back through the real life draft class, and and if you had never heard of those guys, there's probably things in there that are like, wait a second, that's a weird name. How does that work? Um, but they're there, right? So, um, again, it's just kind of it's really up to you and kind of the immersion factor of of what you're seeing. So, Juwan Francis, let's look at badge numbers here: five, six, eleven. So, um, we are getting some really special uh, uh, draft classes kind of popping up here. You got two guys here that look pretty special. Uh, with their badges so yeah i i think overall it it seems to be improved and again this is a couple days before the game is released and so there's still a lot of time for this to even get cleaned up of course there's going to be uh community generated draft classes coming our way very very soon 
Um, but I personally, as much as I loved using those, I still like to use the game generated ones because there's there's no bias. I, I don't know too much about a certain player um, and it just makes it a little bit harder and a little bit more challenging in my NBA. So um, yeah, really, really cool. I mean, what's even cool is like you can kind of mix and match now. Like you could start an era uh, my NBA. You can start in 1983, but load up an actual fictional draft class, and you're going to have probably faux hawks and, and stuff like that everywhere with their hair, but um, you can make it really, really cool where instead of Jordan coming in, you have this new rookie that no one's ever heard of and kind of make your own story with that stuff. So pretty cool. Um, they do look cleaned up to me, and um, that was really all I wanted to get into with this video. So if you have questions, go ahead and ask in the comments, um, and I appreciate you guys uh, sharing your feedback. I'll talk to you in the next video.